All right. Um, so back on the 2007 Entourage, this is my wife's car. We were having a problem with the alternators dying uh, a short life or having a short life and dying. And uh, this all started about two years ago uh, in the winter months. It was a February, about a year and a half ago, I guess. Uh, February, the alternator died. And um, we replaced the battery at that time. So you can see the date on the battery is uh, January of, of 2023. And uh, ever since then, um, the alternators at best, uh, the first alternator we replaced lasted about, um, I want to say, six to eight months. Uh, but then after that, we're lucky to get three months out of them. And that, those are for new, that was for new ones. Here lately, haven't been able to get new ones. They're not available. So we've been putting rebuilt ones in and they only last a week or so. This one that's in here currently was replaced three days ago. And we've got a voltmeter in the cigarette lighter to monitor the voltage. And it's starting to show drops at idle. Um, when things are going well, it reports 13.6 volts at idle, which is correct. Uh, but now that it's dropping down into the 12s at idle, I'm beginning to think this alternator is about to die. So there's got to be a reason why this car is eating alternators. Uh, what I'm going to do today is, well, first of all, I've already cleaned these connections here. So the positive, the 12 volt side of the uh, battery, I believe is good. And now I'm going to focus on the grounds. So first one I'm going to look at is right here. This one right here. The one that connects to the um, radiator support, if you will. And uh, I'll also get under the car and look for any other ground connections that I might be able to clean up and improve. Um, but there's got to be a reason why the alternators are dying um, and a bad connection to either 12 volts, which I've already addressed, or to ground could do that. So let me focus on that. I will be back. We're in the process of putting things back together. Um, we found two connections here that are tied to the, to the ground. These are uh, electrically connected, so we took those apart and cleaned them, put it back on. This has been removed and cleaned to put back on. This has been taken apart and cleaned. It'll be put back together shortly. And the wire going to the transmission to the frame has been removed and cleaned. So I'm in the process of cleaning that and I will be installing it momentarily. All back together, everything's connected. All the ground connections to the transmission and to the, um, to the radiator bracket have been cleaned and, and retightened. And we are testing to see if the volt, voltage on the alternator is stable now. How's the voltage looking in there? So 13.6, 13.7. We noticed that, let me zoom in. So there's, you can't really tell, 13.6, 13.7. That's pretty stable. Yeah, we noticed that, um, we noticed that the um, voltage started screwing up when the engine got warm or when it was hot outside so those connections were becoming ohmic they weren't conducting as well because of the heat so um, we will take it for a test drive and see what happens see if the voltage uh, stays up or if it starts screwing up after the engine bay gets hot <laughs> 